I crank that little bit sim for the learning impaired. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of superpowered humans. <clears throat> yes. Anyway, the idea of human supervillains in the Transformers animated series has had some mixed reception among Transformers fans, both diehard and casual. Some welcome the addition, some don't welcome the addition, some despise it and keep comparing everything to G1. But let's not dig up an old grave, shall we? I personally hate the human villains because they're incredibly stupid and not a lot of thought has gone into them. With two exceptions, which I'm going to be recovering in reviews. The first one I want to address is Henry Masterson, aka The Headmaster. The term Headmaster's origin begins once again at the beginning with G1. The Headmasters themselves are a race of robots who can transform themselves into a head for a larger robot form, hence the name Headmasters. Headmasters was a separate series in itself that continues after G1 when the Americans had enough of Transformers and worked on something else. The Japanese took over the license and began their own chain of sequels after G1 with Headmasters. I personally never watched Headmasters, so I can't really talk about it. Now, since Transformers Animate is all about references and tie-ins to everything related to Transformers, ranging from Beast Wars, the movie, G1... Naturally, there had to be some references to Takara and the Japanese continuity. So what we got was the Headmaster units. It's just a real shame the character is an unlikable little shit. Dude, I feel like a total noob. Headmaster first appears in the episode <clears throat> Headmaster, in which we see a Mr. Henry Masterson, who works for Dr. Sumdak and Sumdak Systems, comes up with a new suggestion for his latest robotics line called the Headmaster Unit. Now what the Headmaster Unit does is it attaches itself to a war robot and takes over the opposing forces war robots and uses all their weapons and military against them. Sumdak wants nothing to do with war or war robots in general and quickly fires him. After that we pretty much see Headmaster trying to get some form of petty revenge and trying to market his Headmaster Units. As a character, Henry Masterson, or Headmaster if you will, is incredibly annoying. He's one of those characters that you cannot stand. He's irritating, but for whatever reason, he makes you laugh. Ownage! Total ownage! The enemy if it hasn't sunk in yet, Headmaster is a very funny, tongue-in-cheek parody of, well, anyone who uses Xbox Live and hangs out on a forum. Constantly using phrases like ownage, noobs, punked, fragged, and just general net speak. But the problem with this is, it's practically all he says, and eventually these lines become incredibly annoying, and you just get tired of him. Well, I know, but, but this is so cool! Apart from committing crimes of grievous noise pollution, Headmaster's other great strength lies within the Headmaster unit itself. It's capable of emitting what appears to be an EMP blast on its target, and then proceeds to mount the target itself, decapitating the target itself, and then possesses the body and takes over. Meaning Headmaster's strength and weapon capability doubles, depending on who he's possessed. So far in the series, he's only possessed two Transformers, Bulkhead and Sentinel Prime. Well, give me the cash and you can do whatever you want, noob! Even though he seems to be incredibly immature and possibly retarded, Headmaster also possesses some form of superior intelligence. He's able to hack into television networks, set off fusion reaction bombs, and is able to... Well, if he can build a Headmaster, you know, the kid's pretty smart. Yes! I am so late! Yeah? Well, I have no idea what that means. Let's wrap this up quickly. 
Headmaster's biggest problem is the gimmick of him constantly screaming, Ownage! Total Ownage! gets old and quite annoying very quickly. But the Headmaster unit itself is very effective and it's a great reference to the Headmaster series in itself. If I had to give the Headmaster gimmick itself a rating, it has to get a 4 because it's very good and very effective. But the character, Henry Masterson, he gets a 2 out of 5 because I he just annoys me. And he's only good for making stupid parodies out of... Bebality.